badly. Another car is going away. <laughs> Like Mike Tyson said, this bit's quick. <laughs> <laughs> We are back in Atlanta yet again. Last time that you guys saw that we were here, we dropped off the McLaren um, and Justin was going to take care of doing downpipes, exhaust, tune, and a bunch of other good stuff. And uh, so we're here to pick it up and also do a lot of the other stuff. So I'm excited to show you guys what this thing looks like because quite frankly, I don't even know what it looks like. So I'm truly excited as well. There is always just the most going on here. What's up, buddy? I mean, the cool thing is, we're friends, and if you hate this, just pull the f off and it won't matter. I hate it. Uh, I'm just saying, you, you didn't ask days. for it, and you didn't stand over there, and you didn't. <laughs> you gotta stand there. I, um, I, I, I like it, but if I you just don't. Come on, come on, come on, shut up. Oh, wow. The only one we've ever done like that. And it I've matches never, the calipers and... If you would have told me about it in the first place, I'd be like, nah, don't do that. That wouldn't look good. But it actually looks f***ing great. So this was done without Gavin's knowledge. And we were just talking one day and it was already being planned to rewrap this. And then Gavin was like, you know, it'd be kind of cool if we did orange accents, just like the calipers. And I immediately texted Justin and was like, do orange accents like the calipers. <laughs> what you think, bro? I wasn't expecting this at all, but this looks f***ing sick, actually. This turned like, out really. a lot better than I was expecting. It looks real good. This is extremely unique. I will say I've never seen anything quite like this on a McLaren before, or anything really. And it's even stranger because typically I don't do orange anything except for like the Camaro. I haven't even gotten to see all in here since it's all gotten finished up either. Damn. Justin says, hey, I got this steering wheel, but it doesn't fit my car. Go check and see if it fits yours. And I look and uh, it does. This is the first drive in the McLaren with a new wrap, new wheels, lowering springs, down pipes, full on titanium exhaust, and a tune. <laughs> and it sounds great. Ooh. All right, let's see what this thing feels like. Oh, I forgot how this car felt. This is mildly accelerating. It sounds amazing. Oh my god. Woo! Holy shit. It will not hook at all anymore. <laughs> This thing is pretty quick, and that's just, <laughs> that is just rolling into it for it. Oh shit! Oh, oh shit! That, was that a definitely flame. was a flame. That was definitely a flame. Yep, exhaust it's smoking. Definitely breaking in. Yep. That's the uh, what you call it? The heat wrap. Mm -hmm. First time the heat wrap's getting up to them. This thing was not unmistakable before. It is very unmistakable now. Mm -hmm. It is a very unique looking car. Let's try third. Just like 
Mike Tyson said, this bit's quick. Did he really? No. <laughs> it's impressive because this car is extremely fast. Nice. Yet it is so smooth, so you really can't even tell how fast you're going unless you're looking at the speedo, and it's just like, oh wow. <laughs> it's even more pronounced now because we're lower to the ground, so the center of gravity is lower. It, it's just so freaking smooth, especially out here on the roads of Mexico. It's just unreal how smooth it is. It handles incredibly well compared to how it used to, though. Really? Yeah. I've been talked into doing a lot of dumb shit, but Justin, He's talking me into the best of the dumb shit. So how does this compare to the first time we rode the 720? It's a... It's... I don't know. It's probably... <laughs> it's probably getting close to about as fast. It sounds very similar. Yeah, it definitely sounds a lot similar. Or very, very similar. <laughs> what the fuck? It sounds so good, dude. Ooh, the turbos. Do you hear them? Mm -hmm. Wait for this pull down, too. This thing is fing sick. <laughs> <laughs> is it? Yeah, like real, real. Better than before? Oh, what? <laughs> dude, what the fuck? See, this is what Gavin's truck is going to be like in a little while. Well, it's going to be more put together. <laughs> this truck, I've actually been watching Dan put together this entire thing now for like. What, two years? Yeah, it's been two years. It's been two years now. And I remember Today the was, video when you got this thing. Today is officially the two year mark. We went two years no ago way. to pick it up in Missouri. No kidding. Yeah. And it's not like the interior is not put together. The, the headliner's not in it, so I gotta get it, all that so stuff. So basically, this has been Dan's like complete rebuild vehicle has been this giant dually and it has been a pretty cool work in progress to be honest it's it's super dirty since it's been but it drove sitting. here it drove it holy got here holy you're God, doing the power. you're doing the rolls royce starlight liner thing right yeah i did it once before but like i messed up the headliner so i ripped it all out and i'm gonna do i'm doing captain's chairs instead yeah. of a bench seat so that way we can have like a big center console yeah. put tvs okay. in it and like a cooler in it. It's <laughs> that is gonna be sick. Is that from the damage? Yeah, it's, it's just from where uh, like it used to be a welder's truck, so it's just a bunch of like rock chips mm -hmm. and like where his wow. tools and stuff were. Because that got repainted, dirt. right? Yeah. Well, this all did. He didn't get any of the door jam. Dude, mm. it came out really good. Yeah, that paint looks pretty phenomenal. Yeah. Hell it's, yeah! I can literally see my reflection in it. I want to do a camper top on the back of it. Yeah. And I want to do like solar panels on the camper top. That's right. We did talk about yeah, that. Yeah, I think like we could put a bed in here. It's eight feet. It's an eight foot long bed, and that's yeah. what a, that's. It's like the perfect dimensions for a king size mattress. So I could make it for like Laura and I. That's like, little dope, dude. That's overnight. Cool yeah, I think it'll be cool. Are you gonna make a bumper for it like you did the front? Yeah, I'm gonna make some. Uh, uh, big, I wanted to look like F-16 exhaust pipes, or like the afterburners from like an airplane. Yeah. So coming out, because it sounds, dude, it sounds so wicked. You guys want to hear, hear the, the sweetest fuel pump sound in the world? Yes. Oh my <laughs> god. What? I'm so happy to see it all back. Man, together. I'm so happy you could come and see it. So, are you gonna Same. lower yours? Are you gonna lift yours? I wanna yours? lower it. You're I really wanna lower it bad. Yeah. I wanna lower it on like 24s. If I didn't already have the lower truck, I would probably lower that truck. Yeah. <laughs> but it's such a up? cool combo, though. It really is. Would it be f***ed up if I do all that work to get it that tall? And I'm like, <laughs> all right, I'm gonna slow slam it. it. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people would be mad about that. They probably would be, but I don't care because they it's don't fine. affect oh. me. Tomorrow. Uh, oh, yeah. I spoiled the surprise. This thing is so cool. Well, I've already been told it. Yeah, that's pretty f***ing sick, dude. Batmobile. <laughs> Hi, Batman. Hey. <laughs> Look, I'm gonna just say, y'all got a king ride in this motherfucker. That's, uh, that's what I was told. <laughs> it definitely uh, oh. has the personality I feel it needs to have now. Yeah, for sure. I think it's finished. Send us some of their shirts. Pretty cool. You wanna explain? Do you know what's in there? 
Yes! <laughs> I can just tell them in the logo what's in there. Nate Hamilton, a professional drifter. So he sent us this nice little box. It's pretty cool. And then that was in there, and I was like, oh, okay. This is actually really interesting. Have you looked at it? No. Really? I am very I want to say that. You just know what it is. I know they do some interesting things. Oh, oh, wow. what, what the hell? Thanks, Nate. Whoa. Thanks, Nate. Oh, my God. That's pretty cool. Grip Royal is not a joke. They're good wheels. Yeah, Grip Royal makes Feels very nice right. things. Whoa! Slater Alcantara. It, it looks, looks like, like Alcantara. Alcantara. Yeah, it looks like Alcantara. Thanks, Nate. Appreciate you, bud. Ooh. Oh, ho. oh, that looks familiar. The day has come where finally, sadly, another car has gone away. Go ahead and rip around the block one more time before you can. <laughs> I'm talking just <laughs> peel the tire. <laughs> Gotta get this, this one final cold hey, start. Actually, <laughs> something I will have been the last person to drive these cars. I don't even really know what to say. Well, on. honestly, this one, yes, you're saying goodbye to a dream car, but this one, you're saying goodbye to a friend right here. So. Oh shit, Nick found something. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Carrera 4S. It's a Carrera 4S, Porsche Carrera 4S. Oh, dang, dang boy. This one here, man. Yeah. Oh, I wish this was. I'm going to picture this being delivered. Record me saying this for future, but I want it to be where one day we're all getting a car, like we all buy a car at the same time, and somehow we get the same truck to, to deliver, deliver all, all of them one day. Okay. That would be hard. wherever that we're at, get it all. Like the whole entire 18 wheeler is just unloaded with every single one of our cars. I hope this is the start to a music video in the you know future, honestly. Cool. Literally what you do is you get in touch with a driver like this dude who's really good and yeah. you just be like, hey buddy, I need you to go pick up six, seven cars Cross. and you just contract them for the whole trailer. Yeah, actually. Perfect. We did it on a small version with y'all buying the, uh, the Porsche and the, um, the, Mustang. the Mustang. Dude, look at these headlights. Look how extra these motherfuckers are. Wow. They got Porsche the headlights are vented. Mm -hmm. Look at the bottom. They put so much the amount of detail. Every damn part of this car. God, I love the stance on these, dude. Are those 18s in the front? Yeah, 19s. Which is real. clean. Oh, this one's the technology carbon package. Look at the fucking dash. Look at the dash. You see all the carbon on the dash? Oh, yeah. The Recaro seats. It's like the 350, so it's the track pack seats, except for it came with all the technology, whereas the 350. Uh, you remember it came with the base radio, yeah, but they came with the car seats. This is like the fully load. This is the highest trim, pretty much Bro, 350 that you can see. Real quick, can we appreciate these freaking rotors up here? Look how oh wow, that. damn! This that's, whole car, it's brand new. Dude, it's brand ass new. That's pretty sweet. Oh, See, I want to get to the point where it's like so so extra. I want to collect cars like Jay Leno. Like I would love to have one of these too. Just because, yeah. like, I just want to have one. <laughs> Honestly, Ooh, look at this. Okay, this is the most low par professional setup I've ever seen. Race ramps on the back of the trailer ramp with a foam pad just to give it the extra. Dude, he knows what he's doing. I like a chair. Man, I swear you've done this before. It's 10 out of 10. This is the best driver that we've ever had to ship any of the cars. Yep, definitely. This this dude treats it like an art. Honestly, <laughs> he knows what he is doing. Hi. Orange sport, uh, sports cars. Orange is just Orange the... is such a great color for sports cars, in my opinion. It goes well with a lot. I mean, we might be a little bit biased. <laughs> I mean, we're still Yours missing isn't one. Even here. Yeah, mine's not even here. I wrapped the whole roof of the car and it came out amazing. And then the antenna? Nope. So Daniel suggested, since I'm going to rewrap it anyways, to just peel the wrap off and see what it looks like being orange. I think it'll look better. Huh. It's a nice That's accent because it's because it's in the middle of a black roof. Okay. So like it's not awful and you can leave the back of it black. I'm just upset that this is cut short because yeah. I was planning on wrapping it with this so it wasn't yeah. going to show. Ooh. Old boy's leaving us. He's grown up. Moving on to yeah, it does feel the like I have a teenage son who's getting finally graduating high school and going to college. That's how it feels right now with the car. I got it, but it was just a boy. We've been through so much together. <laughs> that car really has grown up a lot. Whole Even though brand it's still new the top same end. Car. No, it's brand new top end. It's got a pro charger now. Yeah. It's got built axles in the back now. And I rewrapped the gas cap. I actually just did that. I didn't even really? do it on video. Yeah. We put new taillights in it. 
We did the Corsa exhaust. It's actually a lot different than the first time that we used to have it. Yeah, you're right. It's pretty cool. New headlights, new taillights, new fog lights, paint correction, ceramic colors, new clutch, new clutch. ceramic clutch. Yeah. That's even got a man's brake on it. Yeah, we and a man's brake, yeah. It's an aggressive car. This is so sad, dude. It really is. This is so sad. This one hurts a little bit. I know. That's all. That's all. Yep. That's all. <laughs> there it goes. The last shot. And we're never seeing the car ever again in person. What? <laughs> <laughs> there it goes. Oh my god, dude. What the we're two cars. So much room. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Right. See, that's the problem though. So when you get now? room, you want to fill it with something else that's really cool and expensive. All I'm going to ask Santa for for the next nine months or however long, eight months until oh Christmas, yeah. I'm just going to ask him for an F-150. EcoBoost. No. <laughs> <laughs>